Good afternoon, this is your latest video update on the Western Pacific. We are now watching a new cyclone forming here in the Philippine Sea, just east of Mindanao. We have Tropical Depression 92W being recognized by both by Japan Meteorological Agency and by Pagasa. Joint Typhoon Warning Center yet to upgrade this low pressure area into a uh, depression. So we're still using their uh, old numerical order of 92W. Remember the invest that we've been watching for a few days now. If you read our updates on our blog and also westernpacificweather.com. And the system is uh, slowly consolidating over the Philippine Sea. It is inside the Philippine area of responsibility. That's why we have the local name uh, given by Pagasa Ofel. Uh, was last located approximately 400 kilometers east northeast. Uh, of the city of Davao here in Mindanao, maximum sustained winds are at 55 kph with gusts of up to 85 km per hour. It is currently moving west northwestward at 80, uh, 15 km per hour. You can see this latest visible image, very disorganized, very weak system, still not showing any uh, sign of organized banding nor uh, any sort of strong convective and long lived uh, convective activity. Looking at the infrared image, you can see here very much fragmented, very weak uh, convection. We are seeing this convective activity, which we think is occurring right near the center, the low level center. But uh, again, it is still pretty weak at this point. A very broad, uh, broad low pressure area as well, as you can see in this latest infrared image. But again, nothing uh, really that would suggest of any sort of uh, quick. Uh, intensification happening. Um, in terms of the effects right now as for the Philippines system is still again pretty weak at this point to really bring strong winds or high waves. We are seeing however some scattered rain showers and even some strong thunderstorms impacting uh, parts of Visayas and Mindanao not uh, directly linked with uh, this depression although uh, we expect those uh, rains to continue as uh, this system slowly moves to the northwest. Now looking at the radar from the uh, pro project now by Pagasa, looking at the radar here from Cebu, again you can see those scattered thunderstorms and rain showers moving in uh, across the islands of uh, Visayas here in Leyte, Bohol, and even here in Cebu. Now unfortunately, Hinat one radar here in Mindanao isn't working. But looking at the latest infrared image, you can see a very strong cloud top, uh, very strong convective activity, right? Over the provinces of Bukidnon and Cotabato area, uh, Davao Airport reporting a precipitation northwest of the airport. So we are probably seeing some strong thunderstorm activity down in this region. But uh, other than that, not really seeing anything in terms of long-lived widespread stormy conditions not yet at least because we think uh, we still think um, 92W will eventually develop into perhaps a weak tropical storm uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours and if it does it will get the international name of uh, Son Tin which is contributed by, by uh, Vietnam in terms of the forecast for this system, again we expect this to continue moving northwestward, perhaps passing across northern Mindanao the next 24 hours and then moving into Visayas by Thursday and then moving into the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea by Friday and again intensifying into a tropical storm as early as tomorrow, uh, impacting the islands of Visayas and will likely uh, maintain the tropical storm intensity as it moves into the South China Sea by this week and uh, in terms of the forecast from the agencies again I mentioned earlier the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is still not upgraded this to a depression so uh, all we have here is their uh, tropical cyclone formation alert and going well with the idea here expecting the system to form anywhere along this inside this box you can see it is basically encompasses much of the uh, area that we've talked about, northern Mindanao and parts of uh, eastern Visayas. Now we have Pagasa's forecast from earlier this morning, again showing you the track uh, generally northwestward passing through the islands of uh, Leyte, Cebu, perhaps moving north of Negros, Panay, 
perhaps in Tumindoro throughout the day on uh, uh, Thursday and also perhaps moving into the uh, South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea by Friday morning. They've also raised uh, signal number one for a number of prov provinces here across northern Mindanao and parts of Visayas again in anticipation with the approach of the system. You can check out our blog and also Western Pacific for the complete complete list of the um, uh, provinces under signal warning. Now we know we they will update that list at the uh, 5 p.m. hour so in about an hour and a half or so probably expect that an updated list and again you can check that out on our website we have the links uh, below. Finally we have the Japan Meteorological Agency here showing a 24-hour forecast track again taking this system generally northwestward perhaps moving into the northern part of uh, Mindanao by tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon also expecting this to intensify into a tropical storm in the next 24 hours possibly bringing the threat of heavy rains not in terms of strong winds because again this is only a tropical storm but even then the threat for uh, threat for heavy rains uh, definitely be, uh, be uh, occurring across parts of northern Mindanao and even here into Visayas and also even into the parts of southern Luzon in the next two days you could probably see some bands of rains moving in uh, from the system so definitely something to watch as we move into the next uh, few days nothing in terms of typhoon here or any sort of doomsday scenario but again uh, rains are definitely going to be a big uh, big threat across parts of the uh, much of the Philippines in the coming days here and that ends our video update for today continue to check out this official links by gas and JMA and also check out westernpacificweather.com for the again we'll have those complete updated list on the provinces under public storm warnings later uh, at around 5 p.m. or whenever Pagasa releases them stay safe guys